Hello, we're at my local Walmart. About two weeks out from leaving on my trip to Florida. And today is the day that I'm gonna do all of my shopping. The reason why I'm in my hometown Walmart and not the Walmart by my house in Maine is because it is tax free in New Hampshire. Uh, also, I don't like change and I know the layout of this Walmart better and I am less likely to miss items because I do not have a list. Why don't I have a list? I have no idea. I'm kind of going a little rogue for this. I'm anticipating that I will have to panic shop for multiple items later on down the road, but we're gonna try to get a bulk of it today. Also, uh, my fingernail is in my bag. We'll glue it on later. Nail glue is on my list though, so don't let me forget about it. To boost myself, I've had about three cups of tea and just got this little sweet treat. But I am getting a little bit of anxiety though because I feel like the carts at Walmart aren't like the carts at Target. They do not have Bev holders. They don't have little drink holders. Um, anyway, this is my first. Ew, there's a hair. This is my first. Ew. Ew, get off. This is my first pumpkin flavored beverage. It is a pumpkin cream cold brew. It's so good. I really feel like these cold foam drinks are just the new Frappuccino. Like Frappuccinos and drinks with whipped cream, big frozen drinks with whipped cream were so in back in like the 2008 era, like when I was in middle school. And then they were out, they were done, you were lame. And now I feel like this is the gateway drug to whipped cream. Whipped cream drinks are coming back in, mark my words. I do feel like I need to drink all of this right now because it's like 5.30 p.m. And I don't like to have caffeine past like six, so I need to drink it all right now. I can't leave it in the car and wait to finish it. I just know the second I get in there, I'm gonna have to pee. All right, I'll see you guys in there. Okay, I just got melatonin and now we are in like the makeup section and I'm gonna start there and then end at the food because the food is the most stressful for me because it's hard to keep track of everything that I would need or want so I just got recognized I got really awkward in the store because a girl recognized me and was like do you do TikTok and I was like yeah I'm really awkward and can be really shy in person and so for the rest of the time, I was just like beat red while I was shopping. Yeah, so Faith, if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I was in there for so long, the sun's going down. Look, beautiful sunset. Bug? No thanks. Beautiful sunset in Walmart. Can't wait until we are exploring the Walmarts of Southern Florida together. <laughs> anyway, oh, by the way, I got a Garmin. Not a Garmin. What's this called? What is this called? It's a balance thing, so when I move, it like doesn't look all like wavery, and there's technology to, that like finds my face, but it's actually a little distracting. Anyway, are you ready to hear what I just spent in that store? Ridiculous. I just spent a total of two hundred and sixty dollars and seventeen cents on all things exclusively for my road trip, which I feel like isn't that bad. It was a little bit of toiletries mainly food like I got all my dry food so I'm gonna show you the haul and you guys can't like judge me because it's not how I eat every day it's lots of cans of soup pasta instant mashed potatoes things that are like super easy for me to make and then I supplement that with popping into grocery stores every couple days to get like fresh produce because I primarily just like snack on fruit all day when I'm driving or exploring but I'm obviously not gonna buy that now because it's gonna go bad in two weeks so got all oh fuck i forgot olive oil okay so add another like five dollars to this yeah i can't wait to show you guys all the stuff i got wait we have some drama going down at walmart and i missed it oh man hi it's the next day and i have finally bathed and we are here at my mom's house and i'm organizing these are all of the canned goods that i bought for my trip and I'm kind of just trying to pack it up because my car is super messy right now. And I kind of just wanted to tell you guys like 
my canned good food supplies that I bring at the beginning of every single trip. These supplies kind of dwindle down a little bit, but it's good to start with this so that I can kind of push off and drive three days without stopping for groceries um, till I get to the Florida Georgia line. Here's a list of all the non-perishable food items that I bought for this trip. This is a really good start if you're buying in bulk for a long-term trip. There's pretty much everything you could need and you're never going to get stuck somewhere in a campsite and be like, oh man, I have no food because you ha always have something that you can make a meal out of. I think that it's the most fun to just shop for like miscellaneous gear. So I'm going to show you guys some of the other things that were in my massive Walmart haul that I buy to prep myself for each trip. This is my paper goods bin. I like to keep trash bags, cooking utensils, paper stuff so that when I'm camping in a Walmart parking lot, I don't have to wash my bowl in their parking lot. So I got some compostable paper bowls, more trash bags, Ziploc bags, compostable paper plates, sponges. I get these scrub daddy ones because I cook with cast iron and it can be kind of hard to get the cooked on grime off unless you have a really good scrubber. And then we'll move on to cooking gear from there. So I bought another pack of plastic utensils. I snapped my fork in half on my last trip. So I like to have these. This is camp soap. It's just concentrated dish soap and you can pour it on the ground because it doesn't affect any of the ecosystems in the area. So this is really, really good to have. Make sure you have a biodegradable soap. I always get this multi-spice. It's the most conveniently sized spice container that I can find that has like various things so that I don't have a bunch of salt and pepper shakers rattling around in my cooking gear. Extra carabiner to hook my water bottles onto my cooler or what have you it's just really good to have these around i got more propane for my camp stove because obviously have to have fuel to cook this is going to be my new water jug it's a little bit different than my other one so my other one i couldn't see through so that always kind of freaked me out because i couldn't check for mold or debris inside my water and i think that my electronic spout will actually screw on top of here no problem the only downside is that I usually store my water container here, but this one is too wide to close my hatch. So I think I'm going to have to have this up front on the passenger seat floor. So that's gonna kind of be a logistics thing that I'm gonna have to figure out. Now we'll get into more like cosmetic, personal hygiene, obviously massive pack of baby wipes. This is gonna be my shower mostly for the next two months. Got a new can of dry shampoo. Again, not showering too much pack of toothbrushes, makeup remover wipes. I only use these when I'm traveling because I find that they're pretty wasteful, but they'll really save your life while you're living out of your car. Shampoo, toothpaste, nail glue, which I obviously really need to use right now. <laughs> A new beauty blender and some disposable razors. I use a safety razor because I feel like they're less waste because you have to use just like a regular razor blade, but you have to be really careful when you're shaving with a safety razor. And I just don't see myself being careful shaving when I have a 10 minute Planet Fitness shower because I have to get back to my dog. So I just got <laughs> these razors to use for now. And then just a couple of miscellaneous items. We have game pods. I just like these because there's no way a giant container can leak if they're just in little flings. And I got refills for my thermosel. I'm not sure how bad the bugs are gonna be in Florida. I'm assuming pretty bad kind of by the Everglades, but I love my thermosel. It's basically like this little handheld device and it uses butane and these little pads that it heats up and they really keep the bugs away so this refill pack lasts 12 hours and i actually just found one in my camp gear so i have 24 hours that's math for you 24 hours of bug free living and my last thing that i bought is this journal it was crazy because i was in the walmart aisle looking forever touching every journal blah 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 trying to find one that spoke to me uh this one didn't really speak to me also it was supposed to come with stickers that somebody stole out of it um but I think it's gonna be good I for my first road trip and my second road trip I kept a travel journal and I slacked on my travel journal for my last trip but I'm starting to read into the wild and I just feel like it's really important to 
maybe not log all my feelings for the day like a diary post like I used to do, but I think it's really important to log everything that I am doing and like important events because normally what I do is I take my map, my road atlas, and like when bad things or good things happen, I'll like circle the area and be like cry. So like Breckenridge, if you open my atlas, Breckenridge has a giant circle around it that says cried here. Um, but I don't remember what made me cry. So I need to like be writing stuff down again. I think it's really important and I'm gonna wanna look back on all my travels. If you're a traveling person or if you're, I think everyone in general should keep a journal of their life. And just, it's really interesting to be able to go back and reflect on things that you're going through or really cool things that you did because I think that the little things as your memory fades, the little things go away and it's really important to hold on to them. So this is going to be my travel journal. I have a lot of gear in general, so I didn't need to buy a lot of new things. Like I didn't need to buy any cooking gear or anything like that besides my propane because that's all things that I have. I'm planning on showing you guys my whole car pack and everything like that moving forward, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little overview. Um, it is worth it to do a big shop, I think, because then I don't have to go to the grocery store as often for little items. I can just pop in, get what I need and leave. Um, and all my bases are kind of covered, but yeah, I'm really excited that I'm glad that I did this because I feel like I wasn't as stoked about this trip for some reason. I just feel like life has been so crazy lately that I haven't had time to be like, wow, I'm going to Florida in two weeks. I'm going to be living out of my car again. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.